everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I was thinking in my sleep, believe it or not. And remember the other day, maybe you don't remember if you haven't watched it, but I did mention that how the advertisements were using songs that we know as to be something else, but I'm sure the young people don't realize that it's a song that was from probably the... 70s, 80s, maybe even the 90s, I don't know when these songs were written because I only know I, I like a song. I never know who wrote it or, or what year it was or anything. But the, the advertisement that I'm thinking, it went, oh, 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 and then you could finish it. And in and, and the advertisement, it goes, oh, 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 Santic. And whatever Ozantix used for, I have no idea, Ozempe but... Ozempic. No, it's no. Ozantic. Ozantic, okay. Ozantic, yeah. But I was in my sleep, and I thought, gosh, what's the words to that song? It's, oh, it's magic, you know. Never believe it's not so. Because they never finish the song. They just go, oh, and then they say the drug. So they're pushing drugs with our music. That's not good. Mm -hmm. Then today, <laughs> this is something that was funny, but it's not funny now. Well, it might be funny, but it's not funny. Um, I was, I said to Jim, look at my hand. This hand is cold and this hand is hot. And this hand actually was real red there. And so I put him on his face like this and he goes, yep. And then I go, hmm, I wonder what happened. Why, why are you cold and why are you hot? I was talking to my hands, and he said, Were you holding your coffee cup in the one hand? <laughs> sure was. <laughs> sure was, yep. <laughs> so that's why this hand was red and hot. But it was like, mm, it was baffling for a moment, but that's when the camera should be on because it caught me off so off guard. She giggled and I, laughed for a long time. Yeah, I thought it was funny. And even when I wrote it down about my one hand hot and one hand cold, I was still giggling about it. Then you came in the house and you said, what did you say when you delivered the mail? I said, I think you have a topic for tonight. Oh, I think I have a so topic. You got mail. Yeah. Um, I did get mail tonight, but it was a surprise mail. Here, you can take my notebook. I'm done with the notebook, and you can take the pen that I bring in because I like to have a pen, not that I use it. He brought in this manila envelope, and I said, Who is it from, and what is it? And he goes, I don't know. They put the, they put the, the thing across the name, so you can't even see the name. And I said, Well, Georgia. I only know one person from Georgia, and that's... Blue Bike and Doyle is who I know from Georgia. And so I said, he goes, well, maybe it's from him. And I go, I don't know. Maybe. So I, and it was taped up. Oh, gosh, it was taped up so good. It was taped up here and it taped all along and then tape across the, the tabby thing. So I used a knife to cut the tape and I had to slide my knife underneath to try to get the, the sticky up. And then, of course, the tabby thing, I opened that up. And when I looked inside, whoops, it still got, I, I ripped, a, I'm sorry, I ripped a little piece too. But when I looked inside, there was this piece of paper and it says, Hi, Nona and Jim, I thought you would like this. I know how you like to track everything. Ride safe and see you all, see you all, you all in June. The Blue Bike and Doyle. It is from Blue Bike and Doyle. It's what I, I was really surprised. And so then I look in there and, oh, what did I get? Well, he sent me a motorcycle journal. And he sent me one of his stickers. Jim's going to bring me home. I don't know if you can see that. If it's It should be the, it says, The Blue Bike and Doyle. I don't know if it's right direction mm -hmm. there, too. Yeah, yeah it is. <clears throat> um, it's a sticker that he has. And I, Jim's going to bring me home a, a, a board that I can put all my stickers on because I said I really should have that board so that I can. And I want it to be opaque because I want to put some on one side and then some on the other side if I have to. That's because I'm thinking I'm going to get a lot of stickers. You never know. But anyways, this bike log, it, this is what it looks like inside. It's got where you you can journal where you're going, what where you're going, um, your miles, and you do a bike check to make sure that you've got everything like you're supposed to have, like the check, trip checklist is 
there and then the weather and this is really nice i i really will be using this i do like to track where i've been because i forget where i've been or i don't know where i am half the time but i will see you in june there is this meetup that's coming up in june i hope that there's a lot of bikers there and a lot of people that even if you don't drive a bike you can come but my fear what this is what i fear and it's june 11th through the 13th and it's in Tazewell Virginia is it West Virginia or Virginia 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 Tazewell Virginia Tazewell Virginia um, what my fear is I always see the guys with their helmets I hardly and I hear their voice but I never see them and I, I except for a few I've seen and I'm afraid I think I'm gonna need name tags for everybody so, Doyle, if you're listening to this, or Mr. G, Mr. G is part of this too, and Mr. McStash, he's part of it also, I believe, and he's got, I, I will know him because he's got that oil can Harry kind of mustache. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, Jim used to have one of those. <laughs> yep. He did. Long time ago. A long time ago. Long, long time ago. <laughs> well over, I don't know, you cut it off when Jessica was a baby and she was scared mm. to death of you because you didn't look like you. He had a full beard and he had a mustache and he, he really didn't, he looked different when he took it off. But anyways, I think I'm going to need name tags for people because I know what Mr. G looks like, I know what Doyle looks like, and I know what Mr. McStash looks like. And I now know what Bob looks like, but I hadn't... I didn't recognize him when he was on Cheryl's Live the one day. I thought, who the heck's her dead guest? I was late coming. I'm always late coming. Late coming, early going sometimes because it gets late for me. But if I, if it's early enough, I stay through to the whole end. And um, But I'm going to need name tags. I got four, no, 15 eggs okay. today. 15. I said to Jim... There was one, there's going to be one more egg because there was a black hen in the box when I went to look again. Because I go out when Pretty Boy crows, I go to see if there's any eggs. And this way, most of the hens are off the boxes when he's crowing because they all want to go out there and get the scratch, the chicken scratch that I'm going to give them. I did take Emma and Silver out of chicken jail. Silver's been able to stay out but not Emma. Emma, I had to put her back in. Poor Emma. So she's back in chicken jail. My ear is tickling me. So it's getting close to saying goodbye time because every time I start to get a little nervous, I start to get a little scratchy, a little itchy, a little whatever. But I did take them, take them out, and I did have to put her back. So I pulled my sleeves of my sweater way down because Emma snaps at you when she's tr when you're trying to get her to move and she really is a big bird it's like trying to get her your hands around her it's really difficult little silver she's so easy but she's been out and about and she's she's not broody but Emma really really likes to be a mama so my daughter suggested that maybe I could hatch chicks and then so sell the my chicks I wonder if people would buy them I don't know yeah, I, don't know. I don't know what kind they are because there's a mixture. I have a lot of different ones. If they were all true blues, it would be easy. You know, if they were all true to a, one breed, but I've got a mixture of breeds because I used to get my eggs from, from Jessica's farm, and she had lots of chickens. In fact, little lady, I'm sure she's got some Polish in her, and I don't know what else. And my pretty boy, he was hatched out by Emma, but he wasn't one of my eggs. He must have leghorn in him and I don't know what else he would have in him because but he's a very nice bird very nice I hope you all had a great day and I'll see you all I'm gonna say goodbye <laughs> see you all tomorrow bye <laughs>